Hello everyone and welcome to our channel. Today we're talking about something very important, the power of morning prayer. Starting your day with a prayer can make a huge difference, whether you believe in God or not. Prayer helps you connect with yourself and find peace in our busy world. Taking a moment each morning to pray can transform not only your day, but also your entire life. The Bible tells us in Philippians 4, 6, 7, don't be anxious about anything, but in every situation pray and give thanks. And the peace of God, which goes beyond all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. This means that prayer is more than just asking for things. It's about talking to God and finding peace and clarity. Let's also look at Jesus' example in Mark 1.35. It says, In the morning, while it was still very dark, Jesus got up, went out, and prayed in a quiet place. If Jesus, our role model, found it important to start his day with prayer, shouldn't we do the same? Before we move on to our prayer, let's think together. How can daily prayer improve our lives? What benefits do we get from it? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Your experience might inspire someone else to start this beautiful habit. Now let's enter into prayer together. May this moment bring blessings, comfort, and a chance to reconnect with our Creator. Let us pray. Almighty God, Creator of heaven and earth, we come before you this morning with hearts full of gratitude. Thank you for the gift of this new day. Thank you for life, health, and all the blessings you have given us. We praise and glorify you for you are worthy of all adoration. As it is written in Psalm 5.3, In the morning, Lord, you hear my voice. In the morning, I lay my request before you and wait expectantly. Lord, we turn to you in this moment of calm, seeking your presence and guidance for the day ahead. We know that without you, we can do nothing. But with you, all things are possible. Heavenly Father, we ask you to give us the strength and wisdom to face the challenges that will come our way today. As it is written in Isaiah 40, 31, those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. May this verse come true in our lives today, Lord. May we find in you the renewal we need to face each moment of this day. Lord, we ask you to guide our steps and direct our actions. In Psalm 37, 23, it is written, The Lord makes firm the steps of the one who delights in him. May every decision we make today be inspired by your wisdom and will. Help us to walk in integrity and righteousness and to seek your justice in all that we do. We pray for your protection over us and our loved ones. In Psalm 91, 11, it is written, for he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. May your angels surround and protect us throughout this day. Protect us from visible and invisible dangers and keep us under your mighty hand. Lord, we ask you to fill us with your love and compassion. Help us to reflect your light and goodness in our interactions with others. As it is written in verse John 4, 7 to 8, Dear friends, let us love one another, for love comes from God. Everyone who loves has been born of God and knows God. Whoever does not love does not know God because God is love. May we love as you love us, Lord. Give us compassionate hearts for those who are suffering and in need. We ask you to bless our work and our efforts. In Colossians 3, 23, 24, it is written, Whatever you do, work at it with all your heart, as working for the Lord, not for human masters, since you know that you will receive an inheritance from the Lord as a reward, it is the Lord Christ you are serving. Help us to work diligently and with integrity, remembering that we are serving you, our God. May every task we undertake today be done with excellence and dedication as an offering to you. Lord, we ask you to forgive our sins and shortcomings. As it is written in verse John 1.9, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. Purify our hearts and renew our minds so that we may walk in your ways. Forgive us for the times we have lacked faith, doubted your goodness, or followed our own desires instead of your will. We also pray for those who are suffering and in need. 
May your hand heal those who are sick, comfort those who are sad, and bring peace to those who are troubled. In Psalm 34, 18, it is written, The Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. May your presence be felt by all who need you today. May your healing flow like a river to those who are sick, bringing comfort and restoration. Lord, we thank you for your faithfulness and unconditional love. Thank you for the blessings we have received and those that are to come. As it is written in Lamentations 3, 22-23, Because of the Lord's great love we are not consumed, for his compassions never fail. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. We hold on to this promise, Lord. Father, we ask you to bless our families and friends. May your peace reign in our homes, and may your love be the foundation of our relationships. Help us to be instruments of your peace, to bring reconciliation where there is conflict, and to sow love where there is hatred. As it is written in Psalm 133:1, how good and pleasant it is when God's people live together in unity. May harmony and unity be our portion today. We also pray for leaders and authorities. May your wisdom guide their decisions, and may your justice be established through their actions. In 1 Timothy 2, 1-2, it is written, I urge then, first of all, that petitions, prayers, intercession, and thanksgiving be made for all people, for kings and all those in authority, that we may live peaceful and quiet lives in all godliness and holiness. May our leaders be guided by divine wisdom and seek to serve the common good. Lord, we pray for those who do not yet know you. May our lives be living testimonies of your love and grace. Help us to share the good news of the gospel with those around us and to be faithful ambassadors of your kingdom. In Matthew 28, 19 to 20, it is written, Therefore go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. May this great mission be our priority and passion. Lord, we ask you to give us a spirit of thankfulness. Help us to see your blessings in every moment of this day and to be grateful for the small as well as the big things. As it is written in 1 Thessalonians 5.18, Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. May our hearts be filled with gratitude and praise, no matter the circumstances. We also pray for peace in the world. May conflicts and wars cease, and may the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, reign on earth. In Matthew 5, 9, it is written, Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. May we be peacemakers in our community and in the world. Lord, we ask you to help us grow spiritually. May each day bring us closer to you, deepen our understanding of your word, and help us walk according to your precepts. In 2 Peter 3.18, it is written, But grow in the grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. May our faith be strengthened and our love for you and others be deep and authentic. We also pray for our churches and communities of faith. May your presence be palpable in every gathering and may unity and love reign among believers. In Hebrews 10, 24, 25, it is written, And let us consider how we may spur one another on toward love and good deeds, not giving up meeting together, as some are in the habit of doing, but encouraging one another, and all the more as you see the day approaching. May our churches be refugees of peace and places of spiritual growth. Lord, we pray for our nation. May justice, integrity, and righteousness be established in our country. May leaders be guided by just principles, and may laws reflect your will. In Proverbs 14, 34, it is written, Righteousness exalts a nation, but sin condemns any people. May our nation be exalted by righteousness and integrity. Father, we ask you to give us wisdom in managing our finances and resources. Help us to be good stewards of what you have entrusted to us, to use our resources for your glory and to help those in need. In 1 Timothy 6, 17-19, it is written, Command those who are rich in this present world not to be arrogant, nor to put their hope in wealth, which is so uncertain, but to put their hope in God, who richly provides us with everything for our enjoyment. Command them to do good, to be rich in good deeds, 
and to be generous and willing to share. In this way, they will lay up treasure for themselves as a firm foundation for the coming age, so that they may take hold of the life that is truly life. May our financial management be marked by generosity and obedience to your principles. Lord, we ask you to give us the grace to forgive those who have wronged us. Help us to let go of grudges and anger and to embrace forgiveness and reconciliation. In Ephesians 4.32, it is written, Be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other, just as in Christ God forgave you. May forgiveness be a hallmark of our Christian life. We also pray for the healing of broken relationships. May your grace and love restore family and friendship bonds that have been damaged. In Malachi 4 or 6, it is written, He will turn the hearts of the parents to their children and the hearts of the children to their parents. May our relationships be restored and strengthened by your love and mercy. Lord, we pray for our children and the youth of our generation. Protect them, guide them, and help them grow in the knowledge and fear of you. In Proverbs 22, 6, it is written, Start children off on the way they should go, and even when they are old, they will not turn from it. May our children be taught in your ways and grow to become men and women of faith and character. We ask you to give us the grace to live in humility and submission to your will. As it is written in James 4.10, Humble yourselves before the Lord, and he will lift you up. May our lives be marked by sincere humility and a deep desire to do your will in all things. Lord, we pray for the growth and development of our talents and gifts. Help us to use the abilities you have given us to glorify your name and to serve others. In 1 Peter 4.10, it is written, each of you should use whatever gift you have received to serve others as faithful stewards of God's grace in its various forms. May our gifts be used to edify the church and to be a blessing to those around us. Father, we ask you to give us inner peace. In John 14, 27, it is written, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. May your peace that surpasses all understanding guard our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Lord, we pray for those who are persecuted because of their faith. Strengthen them, protect them, and give them the grace to persevere. In Matthew 5.10, it is written, Blessed are those who are persecuted because of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. May our persecuted brothers and sisters feel your presence and strength within them. We also pray for wisdom and discernment in our choices and decisions. May we always choose good and reject evil. In James 1.5, it is written, If any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God, who gives generously to all without finding fault, and it will be given to you. May we be guided by your divine wisdom in all our ways. Lord, we ask you to give us joyful and thankful hearts. As it is written in Philippians 4.4, Rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again, rejoice. May the joy of the Lord be our strength every day. We finally pray that your will be done in our lives as in heaven. In Matthew 6.10, it is written, Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. May your sovereignty and will be accomplished in every aspect of our lives. Father, we place this day in your hands. Guide us, protect us, and use us for your glory. May everything we do be pleasing in your sight and reflect your love and grace. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Let's take a moment to breathe deeply and feel God's peace and presence within us. May this prayer be the beginning of a blessed and grace-filled day. Remember to return to this prayer each morning to start your day on the right foot. Thank you for praying with us today. Remember that prayer is a powerful force and an incredible way to connect with God. Make prayer a daily habit and you'll see positive changes in your life. May God bless you and keep you. Have a great day and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more prayers and inspiring content. See you soon for a new video. Bless you all.